Hi, my name is John. I've been writing for Something Awful for about eight years. It's been a lovely part-time gig, but I think I'm ready to go full-time with this baby. And by that I mean I want to snag a book deal. I uh, want to get into the full-time thing. So I've written uh, most of a book. It's still kind of in draft form. It's called Devil's Manor. It's a collection of short stories, a thriller, uh, about a series of murders that take place uh, in the Pacific Northwest. And uh, I'm going to read some of these excerpts to you now uh, as a kind of a pitch in case any publishers are reading this or anybody that wants to work with me. Um, it is my passion, so I want to I share these with you now. Um, this first bit is from a story called uh, The Coach Killer. The coach killer slinked toward Mike with an unbroken stare, a scythe in his right hand still dripping with the blood of the farmer's family. He hobbled a bit, his leg no doubt weakened by the bullet that had grazed him earlier. Mike was immobile on the ground and covered in his own entrails, and he shouted, I have a big fat ass and it smells. My big ass smells and I love how it smells. I love to smell my own ass. So that, the story goes on from there. Um... This one is called uh, Running from Fate. It's kind of the climax of that story. The couple ran down the hallway. They had finally lost the drug gang chasing them. They could no longer hear the revving of the pursuing motorcycles or the wails of the drug-addled maniacs riding them. Let's do it. Let's just run away now, she said. It's our chance. We can do it. We can make a new life somewhere. I can't run, Brenda. Not anymore, he said. My dick is too large. I physically cannot run from how big it is and how it bounces between my legs. It hurts if I run fast, Brenda. It hurts my dick to run. So that was, you know, kind of how that one ended. Uh, this one, third and final one, it's, it's from a story called uh, Young Love. These two teens were in love, but they didn't know it yet. They didn't know what love really was and had no idea the scope of what they were feeling. They exchanged text messages tonight, as they did every night before bed. I really love you a lot, Cindy wrote. You're my favorite boyfriend ever. I love you too, Brett said. And that sexy photo you sex messaged, or sexted to me, really got my motor riled up. Wow, I think I hear something outside. Do you want another photo of my big tits, she asked. I can send you another photo of my big cool tits. My tits are big and cool. Cindy, help me, he texted. Okay. I will send you a photo of my big cool tits right now. I'm going to take my enormous bra off and snap a pic of these babies and then send them to you wirelessly so you can take a gander at these knockers of mine. My big cool tits are ripe for the viewing by you, my boyfriend. Please send me a photo of your dick as well. Okay, here comes the photo of my great hooters. Wow, they are so big and cool. So that one ended on kind of a cliffhanger, but... I'm hoping that uh, we can work together, maybe if anybody wants to get in on this. Um, hoping to get in by the holiday season. <clears throat> uh, let me know, contact me through the links in this article, and uh, see you later.